When you think of a skateboarder, what do you think of? A hooligan? A troublemaker? Well, a movement that began in Lincoln, called Skate for Change, is changing not only the way skateboarders are seen by their communities, but more importantly, changing the lives of the homeless. Skate for Change is an opportunity for those kids to prove people wrong. You know, it's great to see 40 skaters skating downtown and watch business owners wonder what's going on and then those 40 kids stop at a street corner and give socks and a blanket to a homeless person. I mean, that's changing perspective, changing the way that people think about young skateboarders. It's a lot more than skating around downtown. I just believe that Skate for Change means helping the unfortunate and uh, helping those that, you know, need our help. It feels better to give than to receive. Mike Smith's love for skateboarding began at a young age in Imperial, Nebraska, and it never left him. We were just kind of had to create our own fun and come up with the whatever we could do just to sort of stay out of trouble, and so we sort of did everything. While playing college basketball at Grace University in Omaha, Mike developed a need to give back. He fulfilled that need through community outreach. I started at Campus Life. I knew I wanted to work with youth. I didn't know to what capacity or how that was gonna work out, but I've had a lot of great adults help me kind of make it in life, and so that was why I felt like I had an opportunity to turn around and do the same thing for a lot of young people in Lincoln and in Omaha. Mike's passion for outreach and skateboarding were beginning to merge. I got a phone call like four years ago that was, there was a skate park here in Lincoln and the executive director called me and was basically like, hey, our skate park's closing down. If you want our ramps, you can have them. And you know, he said, you gotta keep them in Lincoln, do something positive for kids. And that was what got my mind going that, hey, maybe I can create something really cool in Lincoln involving you know, skateboarding and potentially outreach or whatever. When Mike moved to Lincoln, he brought skateboarding and outreach together. Skate for Change completely just was kind of an accident. Every Tuesday I would skate around by myself and just hand out food and water and socks and hygiene kits and stuff to the homeless guys that were on street corners and a buddy saw me and it was just kind of me and him and we'd skate around and then a couple more and a couple more and then it just kind of kept growing and then you know you'd show up on a Tuesday to go do Skate for Change and there'd be like you know 40 people wanting to go and be a part of this. Kids would show up that with their own socks and their own shirts and their own clothing to give it away. And it was when I started to see this, I started to realize these kids have a lot of power and a lot of potential to do something big. Today, this Lincoln skate park called The Bay reflects growth not only in Mike's skateboarding passion, but growth in his mission to give back. One day I was just skating at the bay and then some guys would tell me about it and saying, hey, let's go give some food and water and stuff to homeless people. And I said, that sounds like fun. And I just joined and I just loved it ever since. After Skate for Change exploded in Lincoln, chapters began to pop up all across the country and even into Canada. I mean, we've grown to Detroit and to Seattle and Chicago and you know, Kansas City, Denver. I mean, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy to see it, but because of the internet, kids, kids will see what we're doing and realize that it's not hard. You know, this isn't a hard concept. It's pretty simple. You get stuff and you go give it away and you just build relationships while you're doing it. Relationships that those giving and those receiving will always remember. Two years ago, it was a really warm Thanksgiving. And the day before Thanksgiving, our whole crew went down underneath a bridge and just kind of spent time with the guys. And one of the kids asked what they were doing for Thanksgiving and all the guys just said, oh, we're gonna, we'll probably spend it right here. And when we skated off, the kid told me he wanted to have a Thanksgiving meal under the bridge with these guys and asked if we could help. And so everybody just started putting it out on their, their Facebook and their Twitter. And like 12 hours later, we had like five turkeys and mashed potatoes and food, I mean, the entire thing. And it was like 20 some skate kids and 40, 50, 60 homeless guys all came together under this bridge on Thanksgiving day. And that was where, that was my wife and I's first Thanksgiving. And it was like a lot of these kids spent Thanksgiving day down underneath this bridge with these guys. And I think that to me was probably one of the most special escape to change moments was seeing, it was an idea, you know, a kid had. And watching that whole thing play out was pretty cool. As the movement grows and moments like this are created nationwide, Mike hopes to quietly fade out of the spotlight. I mean, I would love to see Skate for Change happen all over the world and no one would need to know where it started or who I was or how they even got on a, got a part of a Skate for Change crew. It's just, that, that to me is the end game. But as far as the Lincoln Skate for Change crew, they know exactly who to credit. Mike, Mike Smith, he helped me a lot with it and I don't know, he's just a great guy. I've had a different outlook on like people downtown. 
Through Skate for Change, I've learned to be more thankful for things and not take many things for granted. Because a lot of those people are just like, it's a price and see how happy they are when they just really have almost nothing. You know, this is really inspiring. So maybe now you'll want to ask yourself again. When you think of a skateboarder, what do you think of? Yeah, they won't quit. All right, boys, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Guys. And, and a beautiful lady. We don't forget. Guys, I'm back. 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 I